Hi guys, Ella Elizabeth here, Purpose and Beyond. Welcome back to the channel and to my space. So today guys, I am going to share with you my TMU haul. Guys, I have been hearing all the hubbub about everyone going on to TMU and they're sharing their haul and everything they purchased. I decided I need to go on and see what is all the hubbub about. What's all the buzz about TMU? So I went on and did a couple of little purchases, I'll say, just a couple. And today I'm going to share all of the items that I purchased with you. And so as I go through each item, I will show you the price. All right, so let's get into this. So this is my first TMU haul. And this is a wire basket that you use for the grill and I ordered two of these and I thought, you know, I do a lot of meat, fair, fairly amount on the grill. So I thought, oh, this would be great. I could put some um, shrimp in there or my vegetables in there and uh, corn on the cob and just let that sit on the grill. And it just has this little wire basket. Mm. I guess it's it's okay quality you know time will tell once I use it once and then see what the quality is like after one use but it looks okay and so I ordered actually ordered two of these and I'm gonna give those a try and here's the other one so that's one thing I bought the other thing I bought was these supposedly outdoor blackout curtains now I know. I thought the same thing. Why do you need blackout curtains for the outdoors? But, you know, I don't know. So I bought these for my patio. Oh, they're actually, oh, it's not what I thought. It's supposed to be for outdoors. And this is kind of like a, I don't feel like a sateen, a polyester sateen. And... I bought them like at a 96 length because they're going to be going up on the patio and they do have the grummets. So, you know, that's that keeps me from having to put the clips for the rods that I purchased from Walmart. I'll show you those in a minute, but I'm surprised they're not bad quality. Let's see how they do as far as, um, you know, weather and rain. Of course, they'll be somewhat under the patio so they shouldn't get too wet i just want to be able to block out the sun and i think this will do it um and they're not very long i don't know what this is is about mm, 54 maybe this is maybe about 54 but but i bought four of them so i need two on the sides Actually, I bought four. I bought one for the sides and one for each side and one to go across and two to go across the front, which I think will be fine because I'll just slide it wherever the sun is positioning on the patio at that time of day. I'll just slide it and, and it'll be fine because all of the patio is not it won't be unshaded. So or in the sun. So now this this I bought. Let's see what this is. This is actually, um, these are some brushes and I made a mistake because what I thought I was buying was a little apparatus to, for, you know, cleaning out the shower and maybe your towel and, um, sinks and whatnot, but it's actually, it's just the brushes. And so I thought it was the, um, I actually thought it was the the little machine too, but I guess what you do, as I saw them doing, you actually hook this up to your drill, your power drill. Well, if I have to use my power drill with the battery, that's really heavy. I'm not going to be using this in the shower to clean my shower with my with my drill with the battery pack on there. That's just too heavy. So uh, this is a no for me. I guess the description just wasn't you know wasn't clear for me about you know what your you know what actually comes in that all right and so my second one of my other this is the second order 
And these were just some trash bags that I ordered um, for, I was thinking just my bathroom trash cans. And there's like a hundred in there, but I'm looking at them now and I'm like, oh my gosh, these things, I can tell they are super, super thin. I know it's okay. Once I take this out, I will not be able to get this back in there, but it's okay. Yeah. Well, they're about the quality. Mm, yeah. Well, but they seem a little tougher. I'm going to say they're about the quality of the ones that you might get at the dollar store. And these were like, I need to go get my, my bag. I'll put up the price of what each of these cost because I made so many orders. I had to print out my my invoices so I would know what I ordered. Yeah, they're they're the same quality as the ones that you might get at the dollar store. The only thing thing is you get more for your dollar. That's the only thing. You get more for your dollar. So that's fine. And I like the fact that they're they're black. Um the ones that you get at the dollar store, they're like the white, they're the colored and you can tend to see through those too much. So I like these. I'm 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 glad with that purchase. So I may order those again. The next thing I ordered was this meat uh, chopper. I don't have one of these and I really needed one. So whenever I do, um, oh, I can actually do this with my potatoes too. But whenever I do ground meat, I just never had one of these. I use my Pampered Chef spatula and it's it just doesn't, it's not very efficient. But I really needed one of these. So I did go ahead and buy that one. And again, I'll put the prices up for each one of these because I had too many orders to try to remember. This I bought, this is the little um, device for your window if you're stuck in your call window. And this is supposed to be that little device that, let's open it up. I should have done that with the cleaver too. Let me do this so you can actually see it. out of here okay and then it's twisted around there too but yeah it's plastic it's not rubber it's plastic mm, I guess that'll be okay I'll just have to make sure that I'm not uh, scraping off the the uh, coating in my pots and pans but I think it'll be okay it's just a it's a hard plastic but it's it'll be sufficient to do what I need it to do so yeah I'll, that's a keeper and so this other device I was showing you is what you use if you're stuck in your car and this has to go in the car and you need to break the windshield. This is supposed to be able to um, crack your windshield. I'm not seeing how, but there's like something down here. I, I don't know if this slides off, but I see something for cutting or something for cutting on that end. Maybe I need to read. Uh, read up on this and see what this piece down here is for but it's obviously for being able to cut something so and then you're supposed to just tap be able to tap your um, car window and get it open if someone is trapped these I bought these were brushes I bought for cleaning for a gas stove Let's see. Yeah, there's three of these and they're like steel. There's this one is steel, that one's steel, this one's like silver, this one's gold, and then this one is um just a black brush. But these are, are supposed to be good for just cleaning your um stove, your gas stove. So I wanted that to get in those little holes sometimes because wiping around you just you know, you're just maybe pushing things in, but I thought with this I can actually brush that clean really well. So I bought that and then the other thing I bought was some, I bought a lot of sewing tools. So this was some seam rippers, you know, just wanted to make sure I have, cause I only have one. So I thought, you know what, I could use some more seam rippers just, you know, um, to make sure I have some. So I bought more seam rippers and all of these things were so inexpensive. I was like, how can they afford to um, sell this stuff so cheap and this honestly I the one that I bought I think yeah this is not 
yeah, this is not as same quality as the ones that I bought, like from Joann's, um, even the ones that you might get from the uh, fabric store that come in a kit with some other things. It's not as, it's not the same quality. This is actually flat and thin, but you know, it should work. It should get the job done. Not the same quality, but it should get the job done. Um, and then this other thing I bought, Just open. Hey, come out of here. <laughs> it's so funny. They wrap this stuff up um, and wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. Just happen to have my. Boy, they really don't want you to get in this stuff. All right. This is some, where are my glasses? Tea tree oil uh, foot balm. Tea tree oil foot balm. And I don't have on my glasses, so I can't read this fine print. I don't know why this is kind of wet. This, um box maybe that's why they had it wrapped up so much but this is supposed to be a balm that you put on your feet and it gets the hard stuff off well it had to yeah slightly open so I will try that today because my feet are looking like they need some tender care but that's what it looks like just a white cream and I'll need my glasses to read the directions but I'm sure you know clean feet rub it on let it sit maybe put some socks on or something but i'll read that later okay and then let's see yeah i got those um these are just some dishes that i bought from home goods the other day i actually have these in silver if you saw the video of my birthday of my birthday um brunch that I did and the dishes that I used well I had they were white like this with silver and I actually wanted more of those but I guess they're just gone I just haven't been able to find them and so I was in home goods the other day and they actually had the white set with the dish and the the cups in the gold and I thought you know what that's fine I can get those and I can mix and match it won't be you know it's not a big deal but but with the gold I also bought enough this time so that I have a setting for six so those are just the mugs and then I'll show you what the plate looks like if you go and see my video for my uh, birthday brunch then you'll see these are the plates that I bought I love these they're really like a, a, what they call a side plate, but I thought, you know, that's real, that's large enough. And so we use these. I have the silver, the silver, they were with the silver for my brunch and they were fine for, you know, us putting our food on. So they, this works just fine. And so then I have the, the mugs with that this time. And so I can mix and match. I did get enough mugs and I did get enough plates this time, at least for a plate setting of six, because I was like, why didn't I get six of those? Because I was just thinking about having a tea and only having like, you know, four people or so over. But I, sh I could have gotten more of those. And now I'm like regretting and wishing that I had. Okay guys, so up for our first item is this little jewelry box. You guys, you all know that I love to travel and it always amazes me that every time I pack, I never have just the right container travel accessory to put my jewelry in. And so I went on Timu and they had this little jewelry box, if you will, on sale. It's just a travel jewelry case. And I thought that is the perfect size that I need for traveling. Guys, 
you know, I am not the fashionista. I do not do all the jewelry. I do not have to have a piece of jewelry to match every outfit. I will have a couple of pieces and that those pieces will go with every outfit that I wear. So this little jewelry case was perfect for me. So I went on and purchased it. It has slots for your rings. There's slots for some earrings. Uh, you know, stud size earrings, if you will. There's even a slot for your necklaces and they can just be protected and hang off in this top compartment. And I thought, well, you know, I do wear hoop earrings and so I can just lay the hoops right on top of that and then simply zip zip this little jewelry box up. But I thought this little jewelry box was so perfect for my needs when I travel and, you know, the jewelry that I purchase. So um, you can see the price, how much it was. It was so inexpensive, very reasonable. And I think I'm going to be pleased with this item. So this item, I put this as, this is a good buy. All right, next up guys, you guys know that I have a lot of hair. And what happens to the hair when you shampoo the hair is that there's going to be hair in the shower. And so I do have some drain protectors that I'm using right now, but I thought I wanna try a different style because the one I have, it kind of bubbles up on the top and so all the hair gathers around and then it prevents the water from going through the holes. However, this particular style, I see that it has the prongs on the outside and it lay, it will lay flat in the shower. That way, I'm thinking the hair can get caught here in these prongs and water can still go out in these holes. So I bought these and I wanted to try these drain protectors for when I'm shampooing my hair. And it has, I think it came with three. I don't know if I ordered three or if it came with three. You know, if I if I selected that I wanted three or if it came with three. But at any rate, um, I think these are going to be great for the value. And you can see the price on these as well. All right. Next up, um, you guys, I know you all have been hearing about that green tea mask stick. And you've seen people on TV and they, they put this mask on their face. And then what happens is they they have all of the blackheads start to come out. And so this is what I bought, this little green tea mask. I thought, you know what, I want to try that and see if this actually works. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try that. I'm I'm curious to see if how well this will clean, you know, your your pores. If it does, I'll definitely go back and purchase more. I can't I can't put a check on this yet because I don't know if this will actually work. I can tell you that it was very inexpensive. And of course, it's not the brand that we have seen. It's just a different brand. But I will give a review after I've used this to let you know if this is a good buy. So I can't give you a check on this yet. That's a question mark. All right. Next up in my haul, you can see all of my things here. Next up in my haul, guys, I don't know what it is, but I found I have found recently that it is so difficult for me to raise the mattress on my bed. It's like it's so heavy. <laughs> so I happened to be on TMU one of the times I was on, and I found this item. It's like that that um, website. It's like everything you need that you thought, oh, I need one of those and here it is. So they had this device and what you're supposed to do with this is you stick this under your mattress and then lift and it's going to help you, you know, tuck your sheets and your blankets underneath. So I thought, I really, I want to get, I want to try this. So it was really inexpensive and right now I'm thinking it's going to be really easy to use. So I am going to go ahead and give a check on this for the value and utility. So there's, there's that. It just helps you to lift the mattress. All right, next item. So there was this store when I lived in Texas that we all used to shop, where we all shopped, and it was called Sam Moon. And one of the items that they had in that store that everyone just went crazy over, and they made excellent gifts, 
was these purse hangers because you know you want to put your you, who wants to put their purse on the floor in a restaurant and heavens forbid in a bathroom and it's like no place ever to hang your purse when you go to a bathroom but if you have one of those purse hangers even if they just had the pole that assists you to stand up you can hang that purse hanger on that pole and hang your purse and so they had these purse hangers on TV and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so excited because Sam Moon's where I used to buy them in Texas, they don't have them anymore. Now, mind you, I don't live in Texas anymore, but whenever I would go, of course, I'd have to make a stop to Sam Moon. But they don't sell these, they don't sell the purse hangers anymore. They weren't made like this. I like the ones that I got from Timu. They were metal and they also had a wider gap so that it would fit around different types of tables or bars or counters, right? So I like this one. The only issue that I'm seeing with this is that this space, the gap here is not very um, large. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to be very selective in the counter or table that you're able to hang your purse. So your, your purse strap would loop through here and then you would hang this on the counter or bar where you were sitting or the table. Now more than likely this will fit on a dining table, but I'm concerned about the poles in the bathroom and you can see here it won't even fit over my counter. So that's the only thing about this purse hanger. So this purse hanger for the value, I, I give it Mm, I'll give it a I'll give it a a check, but just keep in mind it's you're going to be limited on actually where you can use this because of the gap. So, but if it's just about going to the restaurant, hey, I think it'll be great. And then some bars, if you sit at the bar, they do have an actual hook there for your purse, which you know, and at that rate, you don't really need this one. All right, so I'll give that a check. Um, and then also guys, you guys know how much I love to travel, but you know what I didn't have? I didn't have this luggage weight, you know, to know how much my luggage was weighing. And so it's battery operated. You simply put in your, your batteries and that's how this works. Put in your batteries and you can check the weight of your luggage before you go on trip because who wants to be at the airport and told that, you know, you've got too much in your luggage and you've got to take things out or, you know, repack or reshift things. So I've never had that happen to me before. But I thought, you know, better to be safe than sorry, especially when you're coming back on your trip, you know, because you tend to buy things and add more things in your suitcase. So I think, guys, I'm going to really get some use out of this. And for the value, for the price, I think this is going to be a great value for the price. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a check. All right, next item on the list. I'll say next items. So one thing you guys may not know about me is that I do sew also. And I'll actually show you one of the things that I sewed in a few minutes. But so I went on team, you guys, and I'm going to say if you are a stream, a seamstress, whether you are a novice or you're a professional or master seamstress, Timu is your friend. You can find all of the tools that you need to work with your fabrics, your sewing machine, and all types of things for, I mean, little of nothing. And I think they are a great value for the price. So I, one of the things that I found was all of these different zipper foots and, and um, presser foots. And so this kit is a multifunctional kit that came with 11 different presser foots. And then I bought all of these individual individual presser foots for different things like blind stitches, blind zippers, blind hems, you know, different um, narrow hems. So all of these different presser foots. And I thought, oh, my goodness, for the price and for the value, I'll say for the price, these are definitely a good value. And in this kit, even these, I thought some of these, I thought maybe they're going to be plastic, you know, and break real easy, but they are actually metal guys these are actually metal presser foots so i think that these are a great value for the money so if you're a seamstress uh-oh i'll put that back in if you're a seamstress 
and oh actually some of these are some of these are plastic but a lot of them are metal but I will say for the for the price this is definitely a good value for the price so I would say um, purchase these I would tell you to purchase these definitely a good price all right that's the um, some of my sewing coming out all right that's some of my sewing tools that I bought and then also I bought these thimbles as well to help protect these were like I don't know really really inexpensive but I'm putting the price up guys and you can see so I bought two thimbles for to protect my fingers as well and then the other thing I bought in line with sewing is this is a rotary blade, a rotary blade cutter. So for cutting your fabrics, because even using the scissors and you guys see, I have this, I'll show you this in a minute. I have this on my thumb because last Christmas we were cooking for homeless. I was making like a ton of broccoli and rice. I was making cakes and stirring, stirring, stirring. Don't ask me why I didn't use that. Well, I couldn't use the blender for the broccoli and rice, but I was doing a lot of stirring and I did something to like the ligaments or something in my thumb and it has been stiff and hurting ever since and I cannot bend my thumb. I have to, I can use my hands to press it down, but then it's like it pops back up. So I'll tell you about these in a minute. What I was talking about, guys, you know, I get so distracted. What I was talking about was this another um, item for my sewing toolkit was this rotary blade cutter to cut fabric and it actually comes with one blade and this will make it so much easier to cut out my fabrics uh you know with my patterns and my fabrics as opposed to having to use use the scissors it can the pattern and the fabric can just lay flat and then also with that i bought some additional i bought some additional blades um, with that as well and this this came in a kit so you could buy this by itself you could buy the blade replacements or you could buy a kit that came with this came with two two blades and um, this already has one blade on so I think this is going to be a great value I really won't know until I actually use it to make sure it's cutting through the fabric but I think it's going to be a great value for the price I'm not going to give this a check mark yet because I, I really have to try that one. All right, next up, guys. So one of the things with me and my family and heredity is that I have like a ton of moles. And as I get older, they just come up more and more. And so I saw these uh, skin tag patches for moles and warts. And, I, you know, of course, I had thought about, you know, cosmetic surgery and treatments you know, to remove the moles. But I've seen that process. I've seen like what happens to a person, you know, their face afterwards. I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to do that. But, and, and it's not like that serious. It's not like I have like a huge mole, you know, growth, but it's just a lot of little ones that annoy me. And sometimes in the summer months, you know, they can swell up and uh, be really irritating on your clothes. So, I thought I would try these patches, you know, it won't hurt to try. And um, so they come and they're these little clear like tabs, I guess for the size you decide which size you need. And I think it's like one, it says it has 144 patches. Maybe there's more in this box. 144 patches, no, oh, okay, yeah. So it's got several, one, two, three, four sheets, and there's like, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them on there. So probably like 24 or 36 um, patches on each one of these. All right, so that didn't work out too well. So I'll just put these back in the box and hope they don't slip out. Um, but yeah, so I bought these. Now I can't tell you yet. I will have to try these before I can give that a check mark for the value. But um, I'll let you know later on once I try it, try it, how it works, if it works okay. But it says it's hypoallergenic, it's transparent, so you can wear it out during the day. It's waterproof, it's non-drying and drug-free. But we'll see how we'll see how that uh, turns out. 
All right, next up guys is these gloves. If you saw me, let's turn this right side up, just some disposable gloves. If you saw me do like my, um, one of my videos, I uh, made like some hamburgers and stuff. Well, maybe it was uh, that, maybe, wait, you probably haven't seen that video. These are size medium and I bought these gloves because I like to use gloves, one, when I'm cleaning and two, depending on the type of meat I'm working with, I like to put on gloves because I don't like the feeling. I don't know. It's a texture thing, I guess. I don't, I don't like the feeling of some of the meats that, you know, you deal with. So I love to wear these gloves. Now these are a size medium and I like these. At first I was going to be concerned because they weren't the tight fitting gloves, but these actually do fit based on the size that I bought. I bought a medium. So these do snug my fingers so I won't have the glove falling off, which was a concern because there's no rib here at the wrist. It's open. And I, I was concerned about the glove um, falling off, but these will stay on because they're snug and, you know, uh, fitting. And so I like to do these again, like I said, when I'm cleaning as well as when I cook and work with certain certain meats I don't like to touch. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Just go figure. But that's the thing. This is what I bought the gloves and I bought two of these and there are a hundred gloves in each box and I bought two boxes. And so that's going to be, you know, 50 pair, 50 pair of a box, but they're really expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a check for the, the value for quality. I'll give that a check. All right. Next item guys is you know what? I don't know why, you know, us ladies, we have these things with our heels. Well, men too, but we like to keep our feet looking nice. But my feet tend to get so dry, especially when wearing sandals and open toe shoes. And I don't like it. And so I bought this and it's actually like a diamond. This side is fine. This side is a little bit coarser. So I bought this because I, I, Lost, not lost, but I threw away the other one because I'd had it for a while, but I needed a replacement to help keep my heels looking nice. So I'm going to go ahead. I haven't tried this, but I can feel the texture and I believe this is going to work. It's not smooth like some of those, you know, it's not going to work because you know that skin is going to fill up in that in that item and it's not going to have, you're not going to be able to make contact, but this is going to be with the texture on this and the roughness on this side. Um, I feel like this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a check for uh, price for the value or quality. I'll give this a check. All right. And the next item that I bought, guys, I love strawberries. And you guys know that I love my warm spinach salad with strawberries and red onions. Ooh, I need to go to Costco and go and get spinach so I can have spinach salads this week. Anywho, um, I bought the strawberry core. And I'm thinking this is going to be great because I do core the strawberries when I'm making for my salads. I don't know why. Some people don't, but I do. And so I thought, oh, this will be great. It'll make it easy for me just to core these really quick. And I like having little tools like this. Anything that makes my life easier, I love having these tools like this, right? So that I bought from Timu, and I'm telling you, it was pennies. Um, just for pennies. And so for this item, guys, for the um, price, for the value and quality, I'm going to give this a check, right? All right, guys. And here is the other item I was telling you about how I hurt my thumb. And these items I bought on Timu, they're supposed to help you um, get this in order. So you can see I put this one on. I didn't put it on correctly. And... Uh, so I'll, I'll take it off and put it on. It's like those wraps, but it's made for your thumb to help your thumb with the specific issue that I'm having right now. And I can tell you that once I put this on, even though it's on incorrectly, it really felt good on my thumb. And, and um, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's like hugging it or something where it just felt instantly great. It just really felt great. So um, I'm hoping that this will help my thumb um, heal that ligament, whatever it is that I messed up and that eventually I will be able to get the motion in my thumb again, but it helps it to stay stable. I think is the thing helps it to stay stable so that it can heal, but it also feels good. Like being wrapped. It also feels good. 
Okay, last item, guys, in this haul. Last, well, I have something else I can show you, though. I, I do have something else I'll show you. All right, let's see if I can get this open. I'm excited to use this. All right, this is, oh, this, oh, this, I think these are going to work. Guys, I, I bought these to the filler, you know, between the stove and the counter, and they're rubber, so very flexible. They're going to be easy to clean. There's the piece for the divider, and it's to keep the crumbs and anything else from spilling in between the stove. It came with two, or did I order two? I think it, no, I guess you have a choice if you want one or if you want two. So I had two, they just put them in the same package. I think I'm going to order some more of these. Why? Just so I'll have, you know, extras um, on hand. But I think I'm really going to like this. And I wanted to make sure that I share this. So I don't know how many of you have shoes that you really like whether they're flats or heels, but for some reason, they are just not the best for your toes. So I have these tennis shoes. They're really comfortable, nice and cushiony, but for some reason, they make my toe, my baby toe and the toe next to it, you know, really rub together. And then it creates like this knot or a corn in between my toes. And oh my gosh, it's so painful. So I bought these little rubber toe protectors off of Timu and I actually bought two packs but this is just how they came it's it's two in a pack and there's five sets in this in one pack you know I only need I only need one because it's just this one one foot or maybe both feet but the particular toe and so these little um bands are like kind of like jelly they're kind of like a jelly and they stretch, really stretch, but really soft. And so I know I can just put this on that, on that toe that's affected and it will be protected from, from rubbing. So I was really glad that I found those. I've been using like a rubber band and honestly, sometimes I would tie, you know, uh, paper tissue around that toe to try to prote protect it, but I found these and I am really excited about this. And I'm telling you, I'm already going to give this a check for the price and the value of this and the utility of this, because I know that this is going to protect my toes from rubbing together. But it's a really soft gel, like a gel. And if you see, it's really stretchy, but it's going to protect my toe, but not be abrasive on my toe at the same time. It's really soft. So I wanted to make sure that I came on and shared that item with you as well. So I'm excited that I found those. Okay. The other thing you guys know, I like to um, smoke and grill barbecue and so i and i've been looking for some of these this is like the picnic neck that you use to cover you know your your food and i really um like this one now when i open this up um i can say like the quality it's it's really i don't know you can't do too much you know with this you have to really be careful um i'm really um I think you, you're, you're going to have to be careful with this. It's not just like so sturdy, right? It's not just super sturdy. Um, but I like what you do. You pull this, you take it here and you pull this. And then this piece down at the bottom, it will lock in place and that will cover your food and protect your food from bugs and, and whatever else. But I really like it. And for the value, you know, for the value, uh, for the, I won't give it a check for the quality, but I will give it a check for the price. It wasn't very expensive and I would be open to going and purchasing more of them. 
You know, I think a strong wind, if this gets caught up, you know, it's it's going to tear. There are brands that you get, you used to could get them like at Bed Bath & Beyond, but they're going out of business. You can also find them at World Market where they're going to be a little bit better quality. But hey, for the price, it'll, it'll get the job done. If you have a covered patio, I think uh, price for the quality, I'd give it a check. You know, I don't know about doing, you know, open air camping type picnics. Um, I don't know, because you're out in the elements. All right, the last item, guys, that I want to share with y'all is this um, cleaning device. It's the Magic Brush. Let me show you the box. That's what this is. It's called a Magic Brush. And I, I, I have been looking for something to help me clean, you know, for my shower because I use those little brushes, you know, in the shower and they just don't seem to work for me. Um, so they have this device, guys, and it comes with several different attachments, brush heads, but I'll show you this first. This one is a steel wool and you just simply click those on and you can replace those, replace the heads. It's got steel wool. It has just the uh, pad, it has a brush, it has a scouring pad, and it has this little cover. I guess if you're dusting something, maybe if you want to use it to dust something or um, I don't I don't think it's a, you know, protection cover, but this is like a supposed to be like a little wool um, cover that may be for dusting something if you want to dust or dry but what i found i like about this guys one it's lightweight it's lightweight because i purchased some brushes because i thought what i was buying before from timu was one of these but it turned out it was only the brush heads and you're supposed to attach those brush heads to your to your drill and i'm thinking i wish i would get in the shower with my heavy drill, with the battery pack on it, with my heavy drill, trying to clean my shower. I don't think that's going to happen. So I like this one because it's lightweight. And most of all, guys, it's chargeable. You simply just charge this up. And here's the charger that goes with it. And then you simply connect this and charge it up. So I really think I'm going to like this. And I think for the price for the value and the quality i'm going to like this and i give this a check so guys that is my timu haul i hope that you liked all of the items that i purchased i just love all the things that i got and i'm really happy and excited to try some things just to make sure the quality is there but um that's my timu haul for today guys Thank you guys for coming in and checking in with me today. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys again soon if the Lord says the same. Bye.